Turning now to COVID-19, Georgia continues to see fewer cases of the virus each day following a huge spike in September. Caitlin Heck breaks down the data in Georgia's COVID curve. Let's first take a look at the statewide numbers. We started to see COVID-19 case numbers fall pretty quickly after the latest peak in August, but there are some changes in the last few weeks. Right before the preliminary window, Georgia averaged just shy of 1500 new cases a day. We haven't seen numbers that low since mid July. Now it is a big improvement from the 9800 new cases a day in late August. After plummeting case numbers for weeks, you can now see this line start to level off as it gets closer to that preliminary window, meaning cases are still falling, just not as quickly as before. Now this as Georgia continues to get closer to the low average of just 250 new cases a day reported back in June. Bibb County actually saw a small uptick in the last two weeks that falls within the preliminary window. The state is still counting test results from that time, so we typically see these tallies change as they move out of that window. Bibb had a higher number of people report getting sick around the 20th of this month, driving up that average. It will take a week or so to know if that uptick will continue or if it will just become a small spike and then trend downward. Before the preliminary window, Bibb averaged 14 new cases a day, an improvement from the 195 new cases a day reported during the latest peak in August. We do not see an uptick in Houston County right now. From late August until right before the preliminary window in mid-October, Houston fell from an average of 214 new cases a day down to 18. Now last week, Lawrence and Washington County showed small upticks within their preliminary windows, much like I showed you in Bibb County. As you can see, those upticks were short lived and cases started going back down. Peach, Jones, Monroe, Twiggs and a few other central Georgia counties also show a small rise in cases. We'll continue to track all of these numbers so we can break down the latest trends for you. I'm Caitlin Heck, 13 WMAZ News.